everyone. I'm just getting out of the Thrift Value Village over here in Seattle and your boy just cooked up a goddamn meal. We getting lit a little bit. We just hit the Thrift, got some craziness. Like look at that, Vetma. We got the, wait, what is this? Oh, wait, <laughs> they don't want that. They don't want the Tommy for your mommy, shout out Cantu. You know, we did it all today, folks. I'm about to show you back at the crib everything I got. Um, unreal you guys I haven't literally like lost for words this definitely makes up for the L I took with Supreme I didn't wake up in time for the drop and I just got like so much stuff I just made ten times what I would have made off the Supreme drop I am so blessed right now I'm gonna see you guys back in my crib and show you everything let's get it yo what's going on you guys I hope you're all as excited as I am right now um, that little clip I just showed you was me at the thrift right after getting all of this stuff I was so excited you guys I'm still super hyped super crazy day honestly this is on Thursday where I went thrifting and got all this stuff a ton of people People been hitting me up on all my socials on my YouTube comments saying yo where was the live cop at uh, for Supreme week for the Supreme undercover uh, public enemy drop and I'm so sorry you guys I overslept like I woke up at like 8.05 or something like that everything was sold out like I, I could not believe it it was like a scene out of a horror movie waking up and realizing that I had missed the drop I don't know why I still have these in front of my face by the way but it was weird the night before like I was thinking to myself what if I just missed the drop somehow I didn't wake up in time and I was like nah and I was thinking that because of daylight savings I was thinking somehow screw up my phone but I figured I was chill though so I I went to sleep normally, set four alarms, none of them ended up going off. Something might have happened with my phone with daylight savings. I don't know, my phone's supposed to automatically update and adjust to the time, so shout out to you, Steve Jobs, for totally screwing me over. I was so upset about it, you guys. I really apologize there's no live cop. That's what really made me the most disappointed is I couldn't make a live cop video for you guys, but I also went for the palace drop yesterday, trying to do a live cop then. It was also a complete fail, if you guys did not know. Um, palace actually had issues with daylight savings times as well. Basically what happened, they didn't adjust for the daylight savings time, so I think they had the site dropping at 9 instead of 8. I figured they're just going to drop everything regularly at 9, but they ended up just dropping at 8.07, so shout out to you pals for completely screwing me over. It was a garbage drop. I'm going to show you guys right now though a little highlight. I hope you guys enjoy this clip. I'll show you all this thrifted stuff right after, and I'll also put a timestamp up so you can skip the clip and come right back here and join me if you want to. Just hit 8, so I should be getting into the website now. I don't know why it's not loading. This might just be a an L if I just can't get into the website. Okay. That's cool. Yeah, this is going so slow. Like, I can't even. Come on, my son. Like, go to sweatshirts, go to hoodies. Um, is this just an L already? Because I can't even, like, navigate this website right now. What the hell, bro? Like, <laughs> what is this website right now? Like, what? I've never had the Palace website be this laggy, like, really ever. And it's not even, like, a very hype drop. Maybe, like, these Jenny hoodies just are that insane. Hopefully, bots aren't just going in right now. I don't know. Maybe they, like, delayed the web store to deal with bots. I have no clue. This so is so laggy right now, you guys. This might help us with getting the Jenny hoodie. I'm not really sure. Like, this is so strange. I've never had the Palace site just, like, kind of crash like this. And, I mean, I feel like I've been here for huge drops for it. So, this is just really confusing for me. Like, I didn't even think it was going to be that huge of a drop. All right, I hope that made you guys feel better if you as well took an L with Palace or just Supreme or just anything this week. Your boy took two fat Ls, and I mean, it really sucks, but not at the thrift, baby. As you can see, I got this crazy stack of items. I got so much heat. I got blessed. I went with the homie Taylor. Shout out to him. My homie's Instagram's in the link down below. My homie's Instagram's in the description. He helped me cop some of this stuff. He found some of these, so shout out to you, Taylor. Uh, let's get into it, though. We're gonna start off with a heater. You already know how we come in, baby. The opening ceremony, it's actually the first thing I found at the thrift. Uh, it's like some weird Federal Reserve opening ceremony design. Opening ceremony is a brand. It's located in New York, I believe. Uh, it's a pretty cool brand. Like, they dropped some super fire stuff. They've done some crazy collabs. So, definitely an up and coming brand. I really do like their stuff. Um, this backside is really sick as well. It has just that Federal Reserve design, like I said. Uh, looks very similar to the dollar bill design. So, yeah, this is a really crazy find. Did not expect at all to find opening ceremony at the thrift. There you can see the tag and everything. Uh, that was a super crazy find. This next item was definitely probably my favorite. Um, Probably a lot of your guys' favorite as well, because I know that this little Vetmon type uh, sleeve action is gonna get you a little excited. Look at this, folks. Uh, XL, crazy, crazy piece. I really like this. Look at the tag on this thing, you guys. That thing is so, so faded. Very old shirt, probably vintage as hell. Um, insane. I've never seen this anywhere else. Such a sick piece. XL, like I said. I forgot to say, you guys can cop any of this stuff on my web store. Links in the description. It's all already up for sale. I'm going to start trying to do that where uh, whenever I hit the thrift and drop a thrifting episode, I put everything for sale 
sale that's in that video on my website so you guys can easily cop anything you want. Please don't ask me how much stuff is or like the size, things like that. All of that information is on my website. You can also DM me at CL Select if you have questions, offers, anything like that. But next up, you already know, we got that coding purple, everything purple, purple swag, long sleeves, the Nike, uh, just essential, nothing crazy with this, not vintage or anything, but you know, slight work, had to get that $2 Nike. I always grab little Nike logo tees just because, you know, Nike's a very popular brand. Also, hopefully showing you guys like what I cop at the thrift might help you guys out with what to buy at the thrift because I know some people hit me up like, bro, what do I find at the thrift? Like, I don't know what I should get. If you guys just pay attention to the stuff I pick up and show in these videos, hopefully you can kind of start to understand and see the stuff that sells well from the thrifts. Like, this is kind of an obscure one. I usually would not pick one of these up, but I think the aesthetic of it is super sick. It's a cool design. Uh, I'd love to do some kind of bootleg design of this. I've always wanted to do one. Um, it also has vintage tags on it, will at least look to be vintage tags to me. Um, this thing was like two bucks, so I was just like, fuck it, why not? Shirts like this are something I like about the thrift, where it's like, you don't have to love it, but you're kind of like, all right, I kind of rock with it. It's only $2, like, why not get it? If you kind of enjoy something at the thrift and it's cheap, why not buy it? And I definitely could see myself putting this in some really just chill little outfits with like a flannel or something, you know what I'm saying? Um, next up, we got some Rari work here, you know, Rari boys, skirt, skirt, pull up in a Rari. Um, this thing's pretty fire, honestly. The material on this thing's crazy. Like, I don't even know what to call this stuff. It's like, I don't even know. It's like grippy material. Super, super weird. Um, even like the embroidery on here, like this big Ferrari patch is super weird. It also has another one of those weird things on the back. I just keep saying the word weird, but this shirt is a little weird to me, but I really do like it. I think it's super, super sick. Um, definitely like an easy cop. The second I saw it, I was like, oh, all day, baby. Next up, we got some foofery, some bootleg. Uh, this Polo Ralph Lauren tee, and I didn't even realize this bootleg in the thrift. I didn't even look at the tag, which is totally my fault. I literally just saw the big pony, saw that number on the sleeve, and I was just like, automatic cop. Um, it was five bucks, so I'm probably not even gonna make that much money off this because it is bootleg, and you already know I'm not gonna be taxing out here for some fake foofery, but still pretty fire. I really do like that it has embroidery on both the sleeve and right here on the breast. Um, next up, just another very clean logo tee, this time Adidas in an XL. Always grab logo tees for things like Adidas, even like maybe Reebok, um, Nike. I say always grab logo tees for them, so you know, had to do it to them. One dollar, two dollar pickup, I can't remember how much, two dollars, so it's just an easy cop, easy sell. Um, next up is probably my favorite piece personally that I picked up and I've already sold this out of everything um, that I have for sale in this video. It's the only thing I've sold it already. I got this for like $3, sold it for $26. Warner Bros, 1998, super vintage, dope crew neck, bro. Like the embroidery on this thing, just look at that, son. Oh my god, the embroidery is so gorgeous. I was so excited when I found this because I don't really find a ton of like Looney Tunes stuff and things like that. And we got a lot of player pimps on this. You know, my man Marvin down there getting squished. We got Taz going off. We got just all kinds of crazy action like Sylvester. We got that Coyote, Wiley Coyote. We got so many homies in the building, bro. This is literally like the lit function just like turning up on the Warner Bros logo. Let's get it. That was an easy cop. You already know. The second I saw that, I was like, money, baby. And that's how I felt about this next piece as well. I'm back at it like a quack addict. You know how we come in that Donald Duck flame bro it's like some hockey or football jersey looking type long sleeve you got that embroidered um, stripes at the bottom and then on the back whoo had to do it to him baby we had to Donald with the big old spell out bro Donald's definitely one of the most iconic Disney characters I love Donald Duck so much like this thing is super fire bro all those stripes and everything like goddamn dope piece it was like two dollars like come on uh, next up, we got this Nautica half zip or quarter zip, I should say. Super, super basic, just essential, the navy on red. Kind of looking like my dude Freddy Krueger a little bit. About to go terrorize some little children in their sleep with this one. Um, <laughs> hopefully not, but this is another just essential, bro. Three bucks, like, shout out to you, Value Village. Um, Value Village is really, really plugging on the prices. Usually, you guys, they are doing me dirty. They are taxing on me, but they did not do that today. Bless up to Value Village. Thank you so much for not doing me dirty with the prices. Look at this, you guys. Just another absolute banger it's funny because I actually had two of these my homie found one and I found this one almost simultaneously right after some 2007 big print just you know slight work very very fire bro Iron Maiden has super sick band tees honestly like Iron Maiden Metallica Nirvana top three band tees in my opinion this thing goes crazy absolutely love this one bro like honestly I could look at this forever because there's just so much craziness going on here it's looking like some Nazi zombie like craziness um, hopefully I don't get demonetized for saying the word Nazi <laughs> next up we got another Iron Maiden tee, like I said, my homie found this one. This one's from 2010, again, just a crazy flamer. We got this Iron Maiden homie on the front, and then we got his backup on the back. 
Um, the dudes on the back, like the back of this one's definitely not as dope, but like the front, man, is pretty, pretty sick. I really like it. This reminds me of a monster in Scooby-Doo in a specific episode where they're like doing some concert thing up in some like Red Rocks like location. I, I'll show you guys a clip if I can find one. Super fire t-shirt, I really like this one. All right, we're getting down to it now, you guys. My camera just died, so I have to be a little quick with these last two items, but we're not letting up on the gas, I swear. We still got that loud pack, you know, Tommy Hilfiger polo, just a little essential item. Nothing too crazy, navy and white embroidery, but gorgeous little piece. Um, this thing was actually the most money I spent on anything, 10 bucks for this little polo, which was pretty stupid, but I'm gonna sell it for like 25 or so, so you know, uh, we'll still make a little buck off it, but it could have been a lot better. $10 for a polo at a thrift's a little much in my opinion, but but Valley Village was doing us pretty well all day, so I can't complain. This is the last piece I got. Still just some heat, you guys. I'm telling you, everything we picked up was super, super nice. Um, just these Nike little swoosh uh, pants, super comfortable. If you guys have ever owned a pair of these, super, super comfortable. Nike has really high quality cotton shorts and just uh, shirts in general. So I was super stoked when I found this. I like rarely will look through the short sections because I never find anything, but I was just like, bro, this thrift has just got the treasures in it, and I had to just look as hard as I could, and like, you never know what you're gonna find, I'm telling you guys. You gotta hit every spot of the thrift if you really wanna come up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want more videos like this, just me thrifting and stuff like that, drop a like, show some support. I'd really appreciate it. Like I said, link in the description to cop anything. Let me know in the comments down below your favorite item I picked up. I'd really be curious to see what you guys have to say. For me, definitely that Warner Bros. crew neck, but uh, spin your boy Boone. I'm out. I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.